Hello, and thanks for tuning in to TSI Television. We realize that some of our buyers have never physically inspected a tank container, so we've produced this video to better acquaint customers with the standard features typically found on a portable tank. First off, it is required that a tank container have a manway opening, which can be used for access. Necessary for the interior inspection required during the two and a half and five year testing. The most common manway assemblies are manufactured by Parolo and Fort Vale with either a six point or eight point swing bolt fastening system. Less common but also available are flanged, bolted assemblies found on high hazard lined or high pressure tanks. Each tank will also have a discharge valve assembly, normally at the bottom rear end of the container and comprising three points of closure, including an internal foot valve, an external valve, and connection fitting. The foot valve will likely be a traditional 30 degree or 45 degree internal spring model, manufactured by Parolo or Fort Vale, or possibly a newer style external spring model designed for improved discharge flow. The external valve will ordinarily be a clamped style butterfly valve, which sandwiches between the internal valve and the connection fitting. Less common are flange style butterfly valves or ball valves. Lastly, the standard connection fitting is a three inch BSP spigot flange with cap, but customers can also require NPT threads or camlock fittings. On tanks which have top only discharge, or top and bottom discharge capability, the top discharge valve will be either a butterfly valve or ball valve, situated atop a siphon tube. In order to pressurize the tank for top discharge or to vent the tank during bottom discharge, there must be an air charge valve on top of the tank. The most common valve is a one and a half inch BSP threaded ball valve, manufactured by Fort Vale or Parolo but two inch butterfly valves are also available and both styles are offered with a flanged outlet connection instead of threaded. The airline valve can also be used for vapor recovery venting when filling the tank and options for vent valves include downcomer piping and remote operators which can be controlled at ground level either mechanically, hydraulically, or pneumatically. A safety relief valve for emergency venting is required on tank containers to protect against overpressurization of the vessel. Called SRVs or PRVs, most have a two and a half inch BSP threaded connection to the tank, but flange styles are also found, particularly on high pressure tanks. Depending on the cargo, a bursting disc might also be required and if so, will typically be fitted between the tank and the pressure relief valve. Access to the valves and fittings on top of the tank is provided by a catwalk platform reached by a ladder on the rear end of the tank. The configuration of the walkway platform may be a traditional E-style design, a minimal F-style, or even a full coverage platform with collapsible handrails. In addition to the normal fittings, many tanks are equipped with a provision for steam heating, as well as an insulated cladding jacket to help retain the heat. When a functional steam heating system is fitted, there will also typically be a thermometer mounted on the rear cladding. Other gauges, such as pressure gauge or a level gauge, are also available. If you have any questions about specific items of equipment, please contact a member of our sales team by phone or email info at tankservice.com. Thanks for watching this video production. We realize that you have a choice when it comes to equipment suppliers and hope that this video is useful in helping you better understand the standard features of a tank container. Tank Service Incorporated always appreciates the opportunity to be of service.